This video describes how to claim disks and storage devices for a vSAN cluster. You will see how to create a disk group by claiming disks, how to add and remove a disk from a disk group, and how to remove a disk group. Each host that contributes storage to a vSAN cluster must have at least one disk group. Each disk group has a flash device for cache and either flash or magnetic disks for capacity. Each disk group in a hybrid cluster has one flash device for cache and one or more magnetic disks for capacity. Each disk group in an all flash cluster has one flash device for cache and one or more flash devices for capacity. You can configure vSAN to claim disks for the cluster or you can manually claim disks on each host. When you configure vSAN on a new cluster, you can select disks to claim. vSAN organizes the disks into disk groups. For best performance, all hosts in your vSAN cluster should be uniformly configured, including disk group devices and sizes. Make sure that each host has the same number of disk groups, and each disk group has the same or similar disk types and capacity. You can create an all flash cluster by claiming flash devices for cache and for capacity. When you configure vSAN on a cluster, you can claim disks for the cluster. vSAN creates default disk groups based on your selections. In the Configure vSAN wizard, group the disks by host or by type and select disks. You can group the disks by host and define a disk group for each host. Select one flash device for cache. To configure a hybrid cluster, select HDD devices for capacity. To configure an all flash cluster, select the flash devices for capacity. After you select disks for each host, check the configuration validation and click Next. You can also use the Claim Disks dialog on an existing vSAN cluster. On the Disk Management page, click Claim Disks. Select the disks you want to add, check the configuration validation, and click OK. To add a flash device for capacity, mark the device as HDD. On the Disk Management page, Select the flash device and click Marks the selected disks as HDD disks. In some cases, vSAN might incorrectly identify a flash device as HDD. You can select the device and click Marks the selected disks as flash disks. You can add disk groups to each host and add disks to each disk group. On the Disk Management page, select a host and click Create a new disk group. Select HDD or Flash to list the devices by type. Select a flash device for cache. Select one or more capacity devices and click OK. vSAN creates a disk group on the host and adds the selected disks. You can add a capacity disk to an existing disk group. On the disk management page, select a disk group and click Add a disk to the selected disk group. Select the new disk and click OK. You can remove a capacity disk from a disk group unless you have an all flash cluster with deduplication and compression enabled. On the disk management page, select the disk group and select the disk. Click Remove the selected disks from the disk group. Choose Evacuate all data to other hosts and click Yes. When you remove a cache device from a disk group, the entire disk group is removed. All of the data on the disk group is migrated to other disk groups in the vSAN cluster. On the disk management page, select the disk group, then select the cache device. Click Remove the selected disk from the disk group. Choose Evacuate all data to other hosts and click Yes. To replace a cache device, remove the device and recreate the disk group with a new cache device. You can remove an entire disk group from the vSAN cluster. On the disk management page, select the disk group to remove and click Remove Disk Groups. 
choose Evacuate All Data to Other Hosts, and click Yes. For more information about claiming storage devices for vSAN, see the vSphere storage documentation on docs.vmware.com. Thank you.